So we're back with another Phantom Forces video, today another weapon review, this one is going to be once again completely stock of course as for the previous one. In today's episode we will take a look at the M1903, a rank 136 sniper rifle in Phantom Forces, which is really amazing to be honest, kind of spoiling the review right there, so let's just start today's episode. So first things first, I kind of just wanted to talk as always about the weapon, how I like it personally, some complaints I have with the weapon, and then of course we will talk about the statistics and everything else related to this gun. So so let's start with the M1903. Personally this has actually become one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game. I was a huge fan of the Muzzin to be honest and I still am a huge fan of it, but this one is honestly at least one of my top favorite snipers in Phantom Forces right now. It is just really fun to use. I kind of don't camp with sniper rifles. What I really like to do with them is I like to just go in into the action and just take the fight to the enemies. It is kind of a I guess weird playstyle I guess in comparison to how some people play sniper rifles, but I just really like getting involved and I think the sniper rifle is definitely capable of doing that. I believe it can actually one-shot up to 75 studs uh, to the torso, so this is actually not that bad. Torso multiplier and everything else we're going to talk about in a few minutes, so one kind of complaint I have with the weapon is going to be the stock iron sight. Like I said, we are using this weapon completely stock in the background footage and for this review, so definitely something to keep in mind. I kind of got used to it after a while, but it definitely took me longer than normally, so a bit unfortunate I guess right here, but I actually ended up switching it out for the stair sight once I was done with the review and and I'm very happy with the stair side now. So let's talk about the basic statistics. So as you can see it is of course a bolt action rifle, definitely something to keep in mind. Ammo capacity isn't really something uh, amazing or anything like that, but I wasn't really running out of ammunition either, so no complaints there to be honest. Accuracy really good, nothing to say right here. Damage is 80 and then of course it drops off to 65. Uh, above 150 studs of course, like I said it can actually one shot to the torso, up to I believe 75 studs if I'm not completely mistaken, so definitely something really good to be honest. And if we now take a look at the advanced statistics right here, we can see minimum time to kill 0.0 seconds. Not entirely sure if that has really to say anything. Headshot multiplier is free, which is really good in my opinion, so not that bad. Torso multiplier 1.25. And then of course we can see the damage range 75 to 200 studs, which I would say is quite decent. Muzzle velocity I would say is quite awesome at 3000 studs right there per second. Really good. Penetration depth 5 studs. I would say that is also really good if we compare this to the Muzzin as an example. This one just has 4 studs. Also also has a slower muzzle velocity and as you can see the muzzle has um, I believe a higher range so definitely interesting. Uh, statistics are I would say actually quite similar in some ways. If we take a look at this as an example the headshot multiplier free for both of them and then of course uh, some of the other statistics are quite similar in a way I guess. Like they're not too far off. Personally I kind of prefer to be honest the M1903 at the current moment but maybe that's going to change in the near future. Next up of course we have all of the accuracy values, I still don't really understand them so if you know what they mean, uh, feel free to pause the video right here and feel free to take a look at them. See so we have the accuracy values for the M1903 and now we can compare these of course to the Muzzin, there you go, these are both the stock values of course from both of the weapons. Uh, definitely quite interesting to be honest, I really still don't know what they mean but I think it is still quite interesting. So next up let's go over the weapon handling, we have a reload time of 2.9 seconds, the Muzzin on the other hand has 2.5 seconds, then of course we have the empty reload time of 3.1, Muzzin at 2.7 and then of course all of the other statistics right here which are once again honestly quite similar as you can see. I believe these are exactly the same statistics so definitely quite interesting. Movement speed and everything else as you can see are also identical so yeah definitely quite nice I guess. I guess that's why I kind of felt at home with the M1903 because I used to play the Muzzin completely stock as well so maybe that's going to explain the reason. Maybe that's going to explain that. As we can see the only differences are in some of the first values right here in the advanced statistics so yeah. Would I recommend the N1903? Honestly, I really enjoy this weapon and I think it is really fun to use. It might not be for everyone, I think some people don't necessarily enjoy bolt action rifles, but I'm kind of a huge fan of them. I think it is super satisfying to get kills with this one and I think it is just a really enjoyable weapon in Phantom Forces. Once again, definitely one of my favorite sniper rifles right now in the game. Same applies still for the Muzzin, I really just like it. It is one of my favorite guns and it's probably going to stay like that forever. Definitely a very nice addition with the M1903 right here, quite a huge fan of it. I would recommend it. it was quite fun to play. Wouldn't necessarily pre-buy it though, since I think that's going to be quite expensive, of course, depending on your rank, so overall definitely quite a nice gun. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see a loadout or setup video once again with this weapon, feel free to leave some loadouts or setups in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching today's episode, have a wonderful day, stay safe, stay hydrated, and I will see you of course in the next video. Bye guys!